Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom and we have reservations for the opening day of Tusker House. I am so excited. I absolutely love this restaurant. It's a character dining with Mickey and all of his friends, all in their safari gear, all you care to eat, and I am pumped. So, let's go do this. Tusker House used to be one of the most popular character buffet meals here at Disney World and it's reopening with a family style service and also a brand new menu. So some of the favorites that used to be served inside Tusker House will no longer be served and we're going to get some new items. They are going to be serving breakfast and dinner and we're going to be doing dinner tonight and I'm excited from the pictures that I've seen it looks like it's going to be like a skillet family style probably all you care to enjoy and there's a lot of uh, desserts like they have a dessert platter that's probably all animal themed. I mean we're at Animal Kingdom and Mickey and his friends are all in their safari gear so it's really awesome and I think it was the only all you can eat restaurant that was in Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom needs some more restaurants so now that this is opening up I'm pumped here is a look at some new signage they have outside Tusker house restaurant family style dining with an African flavor character dining enjoy a taste of adventure with your favorite Disney characters at breakfast lunch and dinner and just take a look at some of the things they have in there it looks like an impressive bread service we've got some meat mac and cheese i don't know what this is but that looks good and i'm excited it is 55 dollars for adults and 36 dollars for kids three to nine we're about to indulge in some african inspired cuisine we might as well get some african inspired music on a cavalcade I have always enjoyed the Tusker House seating area because it's actually shared with the Dawa Bar, which is one of my favorite bars in Animal Kingdom. You can sit back and enjoy some of the amazing drinks that they have while you wait for your actual table. So we're probably gonna end up doing that. Very nice air circulation in here too. And this is the Dawa Bar right here. A lot of amazing drinks and then check-in is right on over here. One of the drinks they have at the Dawa Bar is the Lion's Fury. I've had this in the past before, but it's definitely a drink that's gonna give you a little bit of a kick. It's Red Stag Cherry Whiskey with Tropical Jungle Juice topped with a float of Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. I don't think I'm gonna be getting that today, but let me tell you something, if you like something with a little bit of a burn, that's the way to go. Instead, I think I might be getting myself a Tusker Lager because we're going to be eating at Tusker House once we get the Tusker Beer. They also have a Safari Amber here that you can actually get at Epcot and Hollywood Studios. So uh, they have really good like African inspired beers. Here's a look at some of the beers. These are the ones they just have in bottles and cans, but they do have some on draft. And that's the one I'm getting, the Tusker. Now we're just gonna sit here, enjoy the music and our beer, and wait for our table to get called. And then after dinner, we're probably gonna come out and ride some rides. I would love to do Expedition Everest at night. I mean, it's been a while, and since we kind of have a little bit later of a reservation, it might be dusk by then. So maybe, we'll see. That did not take long at all, and I just got our text that our table is ready, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna get a look inside the dining room for the first time in over a year. Jumbo Travelers, your adventure awaits. I love it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Our table is over here, but I like how they have this all open right here because this is probably where the characters are going to come in and out and kind of uh, just do a little parade right down the middle. First things first, we're probably going to be getting the bread and we're going to be getting the salad. And I'm not too sure when the characters come out, so it might be sporadic or it might be just abrupt. So uh, I noticed when I was at Chef Mickey's, they all came out at once and I was too interested in the characters, so the food got a little bit cold. And I didn't mind anyway because I'm really excited every time I see Mickey or Goofy. And uh, we'll see how they come out here. So up first, like I said, we got our salad and our bread service, and it looks like it's kind of a little bit of a miniature portion of uh, Sanaa's bread service, mainly because I noticed the mango chutney there in the center there, but I'm excited to try this. We have some hummus, 
and also the salad itself looks pretty decent. I like how they put everything on the side in this little container so you can actually mix it together and if there's something you don't want, you can just have it right there and just put it in. Oh, but look at this, Mickey's here. <laughs> I told you it happened so quick. You gotta be on guard at all times. And there he goes. <laughs> It's okay, I think he starts in the back and then comes out this way. So he will come visit by the table. But it's so funny because he just came in and just went back. <laughs> hey, pal. Hey, friend. <laughs> Can we take a photo? Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> oh, nice. You like the hat? Fancy, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing! Oh yeah, cancer! Do you need some water? <laughs> Somebody can make you a water, I'm hot, I, I feel ya! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> thank you man, thank you! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> now we need to get into bread service a little bit. I'm excited to try the mango chutney like I said. And these are just regular dinner rolls and this is the pop bread. This is really, really good. It's kind of like a potato chip taste. It's very salty, very delicious. I love this. So we're gonna put a little of the mango chutney on there. I'm gonna take a little bite here. <laughs> the salad itself has a citrus dressing on it. Very, very good. I didn't try anything that's in here. I just tried basically the dressing and I like it. Now, it's important not to fill up on the bread and salad because the main stuff is coming out soon. So we're gonna take our time, but I do need to try this dinner roll. But hold the phone. The goof is here. Look at him. <laughs> the goof. There he is. How we doing, good? Are you excited to be back in Tusker House? I know, right? That's the way, that's the champ. <laughs> I like your whiskers, they're very springy today. Very cool. <laughs> oh, can we take a photo? Yeah. So back to the bread. I love the bread service they have here. It's very airy, very light. And even the dinner rolls themselves are like a sweet dinner roll. And I was really shocked by that. So I'm all ready, I'm like, bring on the food. We still have a couple more character meet and greets that are gonna come through here but I'm liking the way this is actually going about. It's actually a nice, steady pace. Oh, it's time to clap along. Oh, it's our problem free. Philosophy, Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> So much excitement happening. It was really awesome to see Goofy and Mickey dancing and they were playing Hakuna Matata and everybody was clapping. That's the atmosphere you like to see. And that's the atmosphere that really makes the $55 worth it here. Now, the food's gotta back it up, so we'll find out when the food gets here though. And holy moly, speak of the food, here it is. This looks absolutely amazing. We've got green curry shrimp right here, and those look so delicious. We've got a nice mac and cheese right in there. And then for the meats, we've got a pork, we've got a beef. This is basically an African, uh, African marinated pork. And then this is a Moroccan spiced beef. And then these are herb chicken that's served over jasmine rice, roasted potatoes, and vegetables. I'm not even gonna wait. First things first, the Moroccan beef. I'm diving right in here. <laughs> More characters are coming. Oh boy, I gotta eat the beef. It's Donald! <laughs> Look at the way he's walking. He's the man. I got super excited, but this beef is amazing. And I like how they have this little chimichurri sauce. This reminds me of the sauce that's on the steak at the Garden Grill. Very delicious. Now, I'm gonna hop over to the curry shrimp here. And look at that. 
That is a good looking shrimp. I'm gonna need more of those. It's okay. The shrimp is that good. <laughs> that is so good. Honestly, this might be my favorite, but I can't say that yet because I still have things that I have to get to. Hey, Donald! <laughs> oh, I like that hat. Wait, I gotta get a good photo of you. There we go. <laughs> You're the man. Thank you. I'm gonna save the pork for last because I got a really good feeling about it. So I'm gonna try the chicken now. Chicken looks good though, but that pork, oh yeah. Very good chicken, honestly. But I did get a little bit of nibble of the rice, like on the chicken itself, and I think I'm gonna love this rice. So I'm gonna use my tongs in order to grab a nice good portion, just like that. I don't know why I was using my tongs, but now I got a fork full of rice. That is good rice. Oh yeah, wow. And then underneath the beef, they had these potatoes. So we're gonna try a little bit of those as well. They look good though, nicely seasoned. But now it is time for the pork. Let's see. Oh wow, that cuts too easily. Oh, we got a little carrot there too. But before we get to the pork, look who showed up. You look fabulous, wow. I think uh, you and uh, Donald are still on the show here. I like those shoes. Fantastic, oh, a little, oh, nice. Thank you, Daisy, you're amazing. <laughs> oh. Now it's time to try this pork. This is what I said I think I'm gonna like the most, so we're gonna see if we're right here. I was totally right. I love the pork. It has such an amazing marinade on it. So tender, so amazing. If I were to say my second favorite thing, it would be the shrimp, followed by the beef, then the potatoes, the rice, the veggies, and then the chicken. The cool thing is, is you don't need to get everything all again. If you want more items, you can do it a la carte. So there was only four shrimp. I'm definitely gonna get some more shrimp, and I'll probably get a little bit more pork, but I think that's enough food for me, you know what I mean? There's still a lot of desserts coming out, so we need to save room for desserts, but I definitely can get more pork and shrimp, and especially the shrimp. feeling it now and I do have to say I really do love the vegetables the corn and the carrots mixed together so well but this is a great meal and the dessert is still yet to come and speak of dessert look at this here it is we've got like a chocolate lemon cake look at this tree of life brownie and then a nice little tiger cupcake this all looks really well that is probably what I'm looking forward to the most. I'm gonna get a real good close look at it. Look at those layers. I'm gonna try a little bit of the cupcake first. I do like cupcakes, but like, they're not my favorite thing. I like, like different cakes, and I probably would like the brownie probably a little bit more than this, but we'll see. I mean, I might be wrong. It's not a horrible cupcake, but it's just like a cupcake. Now, this, cake right here is probably something I'm gonna enjoy quite well. All right, this is it. I'm excited. That's the one. That's the silver tuna. That cake did not stand a chance. And now I'm gonna try the brownie. It's kind of like a s'mores brownie though, because you can see like there's a little like graham cracker like crust over here, and I think these are like marshmallows. I might be wrong, but it looks like that. So we'll give it a try. Oh, 
Ooh, it's very soft. Hmm. It's a good brownie. Now it's time we're gonna head out all full, but before we go, we get Mickey, Donald, Daisy, and Goofy's autograph on a limited edition Tus Tusker House little postcard here. Isn't that fancy? That was absolutely delicious. If I were to compare it to Chef Mickey's, I feel like the main courses were so much better than Chef Mickey's. The desserts weren't that great here. I think Chef Mickey's desserts were better. The character meet and greets, like the character interaction, was probably better at Chef Mickey's too, but both of them are like phenomenal. I feel like this one is a little bit more of an adventurous eater, uh, even though Chef Mickey's definitely stepped up their game. It used to be like a kitty menu. Now there's a lot of mushrooms and risotto. So I don't know, it's, it's definitely hard to say, but Overall, I think when it comes to food, I like the food here a little bit more. Now I'm super full and we're gonna try to walk over to Expedition Everest. I'm sure that's not the best ride you should be riding once you just got done eating a big meal, but we're gonna make it work. I forgot to get a coffee to go. Normally whenever I go to any of these sit down restaurants that is all you care to enjoy, it comes with free soft drinks and coffee and uh, it's all included in the price. So usually I usually like to get a coffee and take it to go with me. It's a good trick. That's the best to get your money's worth right there. Now it's time. I think we're gonna head on Expedition Everest. I am so excited. This is a good way to cool off, but I think I digested a little bit. Like I feel like not so full at the moment. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be great. It also looks like it is a walk-on. I don't even think people are like in line for this at all. Look at this. I've never seen it like this. It says 20 minutes. There's no way. No way this is a 20 minute wait. Yeah, definitely not a 20 minute wait. This is where we're stopping. Well, not even stopping. We're just kind of walking at a slow pace. Oh, look at those Yetis and Josh Gates. And of course, I got a rate for row one. I love row one on this ride. Some rides, the back is good and the front is good, but this one is the best. Don't you agree? Yeah, I think they agree. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> the track! Oh, look at that. Tower of Terror, Epcot, Spaceship Earth. Let's see if we can get the bird today. Ooh, there's a lot of bugs up there. Oh, no, no bird! Look 
with my phone too. That almost fell out. Oh. That was good. Much needed. Almost lost the hat on that one again. Even though I probably wouldn't have fell out of the cart itself. I have lost my phone on there one time and it was laying on the bottom of like the ride vehicle and I slammed my foot down and like held it in place the whole time. But uh, yeah, I don't have luck with hats. I mean, they kind of just fly off and it's not that I wear them while I'm riding. Sometimes I take them off, but they still fall. Oh, hi, hi. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that time my hat was sitting like in the pouch and it doesn't fit all the way in the pouches so i think when we started to like go backwards it came up and then it was just rolling around the bottom and that's when i started panicking but it didn't fly away we got it now i'm gonna have to stop and get myself a coffee since i wasn't able to grab a coffee before i left and i think they have a lion's latte that sounded pretty interesting white chocolate and coconut available hot or iced oh i don't know about that How close he is i've never had a pigeon that close Sorry, I had to share that happy pigeon. It looked like it was enjoying its little meal on the ground there. But I decided on getting the uh, the lion's latte. I mean, I wasn't too sure with the coconut, but I bet you it's gonna be pretty good. Look at it. It's got whipped cream and it's got coconut on top. And I think I'm gonna like it a lot. You can get it hot or iced. I definitely want iced because it is a hot day. Oh, but now here's a bunch of baby ducks. They got separated from their mom though. <gasps> oh no, they can't get to their mom. Oh, little duckies. How do we get them there? Are they over there? Come on. Come on, across the bridge. Yeah? No, 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 come back, come back this way. There we go, this way. No, no, no. There they go. I really want to see these ducks get back to their mom. Here they come again. Here they come. Ducks coming through. Ducks coming through. Here they come. Here they come. Come on. No, don't run. Don't run. Don't run. No, no. We're clearing the bridge for them. <laughs> Here they come again. Oh yes, you got this, no, oh no. I'm gonna wait it out with these ducks. I wanna see them get over this bridge. They just keep circling it. Okay, here we go. Ducks coming across, let them go, let them go. There we go, get to your mommy, go, go, go. Yes. <laughs> they did it. Look at them. They're just really going along now. Oh, <laughs> that is such an amazing thing to see right there. The lion's latte was delicious, but there's nothing that can top the feeling of seeing those ducks get across that bridge. It was like, honestly, I know you guys probably don't see it because you're looking at it as an edited video, but I'd say a good 20 minutes. Like they kept on trying to get there and then like everybody would stop and then people would start coming this way and they get scared and they run back so like it was really cool to see everybody kind of stop what they're doing i mean there was a couple of floaters that were like just walking by who don't know anything like about the ducks like getting lost from their mom but there was a, like a lot of people that were really concerned so it was great and then seeing them go and as we were cheering them on like go 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 wow anywho's i think that's gonna do it for me today tusker house expedition everest ducks and lion lattes it's animal kingdom so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye now it's time to say goodbye to animal kingdom bye guys bye friends see ya bye friends bye friends yes yes see you later i like that stitch paw very nice very fancy very fancy oh hello friends look at that <laughs> this is a great day i am so happy <laughs>